Hello everyone, my name is Martin Williams and thank you so much for tuning in to the Guided Expressions podcast. Uh, if you're listening on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, or SoundCloud, welcome. And I also want to remind you to subscribe to any one of those platforms so you can get the latest podcasts when they become available. Today what I wanted to talk about is a simple question. Do you want it bad enough? I think that a lot of times people say that they want a certain outcome. They say they want a uh, certain goal to happen in their life. They want to get out of debt. They want to lose weight. They want a a new job. They want to start a new business. Uh, They want a relationship. They want all these different things, but they don't do the necessary things to get those outcomes in their life. I truly believe that when we change ourselves, we make ourselves matches for the things that we say we want in life. If you want to get out of debt, then there's a, there are certain changes that you have to make. You have, you have to make changes in the way that you spend money. You have to make changes in the way that you make money. You have to make changes in the way that you keep records. If you want to lose weight, you have to make changes in the way you eat. You have to make changes in the way that you exercise. You have to make changes as far as uh, eating too late or, you know, eating at certain places and um, supplementation and all these different things. You know, there's all kinds of different changes that you have to make in order to see a life change. And far too many times people overlook those life changes. They just want everything outside to change, but they don't want to change. And my question to you is, do you want it bad enough so that you'll change okay because if you want something in your life and you don't have it now the issue is there's something that you haven't done right there's something you haven't done there's something that you've neglected to do something that you've neglected to fix in your life and until you fix that thing until you change that thing the thing that you really want in life isn't going to come in okay you know a lot of times I know in my life, I said that I wanted a certain outcome, but I didn't want to change. You know, I wanted to work from home. I wanted a new car. I wanted to live in a, in a different uh, part of the country than I was living in at that time. I wanted a certain lifestyle, but I didn't want to change. I just wanted everything to fall at my feet. And, you know, life doesn't work like that. We have to be active in our pursuit of a new life and I know that sounds almost you know paradoxical in that well of course I have to be active if I'm pursuing something but you'd be amazed how passive people are when they say they really want something do you want it bad enough to step outside of your comfort zone do you want it bad enough to do something completely different than what you're used to doing do you want it bad enough that you'll stay up late at night doing videos or making content and editing videos? Do you want it bad enough that you'll do like me? You know, I'm recording a podcast right now and there's a rainstorm outside and I'm recording it outside because, you know, my family is inside and they're doing things and, you know, I don't want to put them out of their way. So I'm outside doing a, uh, a podcast and, you know, you may be able to hear the rain in the background. I'm going to do my best to edit it out. But the bottom line is there's a thunderstorm happening right now and I'm outside on the on the porch and you know because this is important enough to me to do you know it's important enough for me to be outside at almost nine o'clock at night after you know I've worked all day long and um, you know I got up super early and worked out and did all those things and you know I don't want to meddle for any of that stuff but you know, I want it bad enough that I'll do this, you know, rather than watch TV, rather than play, you know, a game or, or rather than, you know, just kind of lay down, you know, all of which I have a right to do, you know, do you want it bad enough that you'll message somebody on Facebook knowing, uh, you know, that there's a great chance that they won't respond or that they'll reject you or they'll ask you not to contact them anymore? Do you want it bad enough that you'll talk to someone that you know and, and have them say, well, you know, I'm not really interested in what you're selling. Do you want it bad enough that you'll uh, ask someone out 
that you know may seem quote unquote out of your league or someone that is not uh, you know good enough or excuse me you may not think you're good enough for them you know do you want it bad enough that you will get up early in the morning and go work out do you want it bad enough that you'll stop eating junk food and fast food and all the things that you love and so many of us grew up loving in order to live a healthier life and live longer and live healthier while we live longer these are the questions that we always have to ask ourselves do you want it bad enough because if you don't want it bad enough I'm here to tell you that you're more than likely not going to get it you're more than likely not going to achieve the type of outcome that you want to achieve and for so many people that is a, a reality of life that no matter how badly they desire something they don't take the next step to action okay in Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, he talked about the importance of a burning desire. He talked about the importance of having a burning desire and how that's the initial step to all achievement. And he was 100% right. A burning desire is the first step to everything you want to achieve in life. If you want to um, do anything from get out of debt to cure cancer, you have to have a burning desire to do so because of all the obstacles that you'll meet along the way. Okay? The one thing about fire is that it burns everything in its path. Okay? Nothing can stop a fire unless, unless it's water. You know, if it's not water, that fire will burn. It will burn everything in its path, everything in the way of it of it you know until it gets to where it's going and so in the same way you have to have that burning desire you have to want to do the things that people don't want to do you have to be willing to stay up late get up early do those you know do those things that make other people uncomfortable to me that's the difference of success and so I just want to ask you to challenge yourself do you really want it bad as the rain is really picking up here do you really do you really want it bad enough do you want do you want to have this type of success that you want to have and if you're willing to do that you will have your success so my name is martin williams thank you so much for tuning into the podcast and until next time don't forget to subscribe